Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome back to my Let's Play of Port Royale 2. This is episode 3 and our tutorial campaign is continuing. So let's pick the next mission here. We are going to do construction and production next. Let's pick this. Introductory scenario. In Port Royal 2, you can build in any town in which you have a building permit. You always have permission to build in the town in which you start the game. This scenario introduces you to construction and production. Your task is to construct several commercial and residential buildings. In the various steps in the scenario, you will have to find raw materials, settlers, and workers. This sounds very fun to me. Let's get started. Again, we have the normal uh, setup here. I'm gonna leave this at trading again, and let's just start the game. In this scenario, you'll learn how to establish businesses and find out what you need to take into account when you do so. You'll also construct residential areas for your new workers. In Port Royal 2, you can build in any town in which you have a building permit. The more permits you have, the more expensive your next one will be. You already have one permit in the town where you started the game, so you can start to construct new buildings there immediately. Okay, we have a new scenario objective. Construct one cocoa production facility and one residential area in Santa Marta. That sounds good. Let's close this and continue the mission here. You are in the colonial town of Santa Marta. Click on the town name to display the town information. So the town name is right up here. Colonial towns like Santa Marta can produce two essential goods, two raw materials, and one colonial good. In the last scenario, you'll learn that there is a particularly high demand for raw materials and colonial goods in governor towns. You want to produce the colonial good cocoa first. Now close the town information. So let's close this like they asked. Since colonial goods are shipped to Europe from governor towns, the demand for cocoa in these towns is high. These conditions are good for your first business. Now locate and click on the master builder's building in the center of town. So the master builder, I believe, is this one here? Yes, the master builder. Let's click on this. At the Master Builder, you can apply for permission to construct a new building or return your building's permit. This is not what you want to do now, of course. Look at the different buildings you can construct. You can also use the button on the right of the Master Builder window. Click on the Cocoa Plantation button. So here is the buildings, here is businesses, community buildings, and Master Builder. Here is the warehouse, residential areas, hospitals, schools, tree, which is, uh, which one do I click on here? Warehouse, businesses, sawmill, brickworks, sugar farm, cotton, and cocoa here. Here we go. You can now see how many building materials are required and what the construction cost will be. You can also see how many building materials you currently have in your warehouse and how many you'll have to buy from the town. You have enough materials at present. Position your cursor on the available construction site and left click on it. Available construction site. So I take it that all these squares are available construction sites. Let's build our cocoa plantation sort of close to the town, I think, here. Let's put it right here. The scaffolding of the cocoa plantation facility is now displayed and construction begins. It will take a few days for the construction to complete. In the meantime, you should organize accommodations for your new workers. Close the construction menu and look for the, a residential area in Santa Marta. All right, so let's close that. I guess we have to go back to the master plantations and we'll look for a residential area.
a residential that's the warehouse we are in residential area here and let's put one close i guess close to Congratulations! You are now familiar with the basics of building a town. As soon as your production facilities have been constructed, you can start to hire workers. Each settler waiting at the harbour to be hired can be converted into one worker and four citizens. This means that one settler actually represents an entire settler family. To ensure that your businesses have enough workers, you must ensure that sufficient numbers of settlers are available for work. Transport convoys carry settlers from Europe to the governor towns and are then brought by traders to the other towns. All right, I got a little bit confused there, but it looks like we completed that mission. But we have a new scenario objective. Ensure that you have enough workers for your business in Santa Marta. Okay. Click on the cocoa plantation. The display always shows all your cocoa plantations in the town. Once your production facilities are constructed, you will need 30 workers, that is 30 settlers. Now leave the plantation, go to the docks in the harbor and press the cargo button, the bottom button on the right. So let's go to the harbor it says here. Go to the docks and the cargo button here. Here you can see if there's any settlers waiting to be hired in the town or if the town needs new workers. This will be the case as soon as construction of your business has been completed. Go to the surrounding governor towns and bring settlers to Santa Marta until your business is employing a full complement of workers. So right here, no workers are needed in the town, but our construction of our cocoa plantation is still underway here. We have barely started. You can see the blue line and it's just beginning here. So we can't do that yet, but it says to go to some governor towns. So let's select our, we have already selected our ships, our convoy. Now, where is the next governor town? Here is a governor town and they have a surplus of settlers here. So let's go to Carragina and they want some bricks here, right? Do they have, not the shipyard, sorry, I want the docks. Do they have bricks here? They make bricks and they've got zero though. That's too bad. It looks like they're not, they're hurting on a lot of things here. Now let's not buy anything quite yet. Let's leave, the prices don't look very good at the moment. Let's go to Cartagena and see if we can pick up these settlers here. I'm gonna press a space bar to speed the game up. So we'll go to the cargo again, and there is 25 settlers here. Let's load these onto our ship. We can carry 20 of them. Let's close this. And let's just go back to Santa Marta here and see if we can complete. We'll enter the town this time, and we'll go here, go to the goods, and we will drop these guys off here. Now, we still have a long way to go here. Does it tell how long it's gonna take? No, it doesn't. So let's do a little trading while we wait. Let's check out the docks here. They still only have three here. Still waiting for that. Actually, let's go back to, let's try our, they need rope. Let's try our hand at continuing our trading here. Oh, let's go to the docks and they have 26. Let's buy six of these and six rum here. at 52 let's do that and let's sail up to 
Port Royal. They also have settlers. We'll grab some settlers while we're there. I'm gonna press a space bar. And we have, we can sell some, oh, we can sell some of this. Sorry, I messed up there. Still not a bad price. We'll sell it all. And here is not a bad, not super good. Let's buy a few of these. And let's buy a few of these. We are full up. Can we carry any more? We can't carry any more workers. Now, let's go back down here. And they need meat and rope. We have meat and rope. Let's go to Santa Marta here and see if our uh, construction is done yet. Let's sell some of this. Getting a great price for this. We are in the positive here. And we can sell some of this to the town as well. Now, let's take a look at our building here. It's still not fully complete. Let's take a look at the goods. We have 20 workers still in town here. So let's continue our trading while we wait. Let's go back out here. Let's go back to Cartagena. And docks here. What is your... We're looking pretty good on this. And let's buy 10 of these too here. And we can sell some meat here. Beautiful. Let's sell all the wheat here too. Since we don't have any price for that up there, I'm not sure if that's gonna break the tutorial or not, but we're gonna do that anyways. Let's travel back up to uh, Port Royal here and pick up some rope. Let's go to the docks. 350 not a great price on that although this is not too bad here we'll only sell that many we have a good supply of ropes here let's grab 10 of these and we have a good supply of meat let's grab another 10 of these let's head back down to oh, let's leave the town first and let's head back down to Santa Marta here. Let's go to the docks and sell this stuff. We can sell some of these shirts here for a good price. We can also sell some of these for a good price. And we can sell some rum here. We only got one though. Let's leave it at that for now. Let's go over here. There's no need for workers yet. I don't think our thing is done yet. We're almost finished. So let's do another run. Do these guys got anything interesting? No, we're going to do... We're going to be producing cocoa ourselves. I don't want to carry any of these items here. Let's go back to Cartagena. And we can sell some meat here. We can sell some rope here as well. And we'll buy another bit of that. And we'll purchase some rum here too. Let's bring it down to 20. Let's bring this down to 20 as well. There we go. Now, let's head back up to Port Royal. Let's go in the docks here. 
And we can sell... Oh, not too much. We'll do that. We'll pick up some rope here. And we'll pick, pick up some meat here. Now, let's go back down. Can we... It looks like our plantation here is done. And we only have three workers out of 30. So let's take a look. There are 27 workers that need are needed in the town. All right, so we're going up to Port Royal. Can we fit any more in our ship? We can carry 10. So let's go out of here and go down and let's deliver these 10 to Santa Marta and see if we can sell some of our goods. Okay, so first off, we will drop off some of these people here and we're getting paid for these guys as well now. We need 17 more. And if we go to our plantation, it still hasn't moved up any. But we will see how this works. We can sell some of these here. We can sell some of these here. And we can sell some of these here. Wouldn't sell any meat though. All right, let's leave here and let's go to Cartagena. We'll sell some more goods and pick up the supply of people they have here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I want to do this. Can we sell anything? Yes, we can sell some of this and this. Now, let's transfer. We can do another 15 people here. Let's pick them all. Let's go back to Santa Marta. We're still negative. we don't well this one's not too bad here let's sell that and let's drop off the people we need two more workers it looks like let's check out our we have 13 now out of 30 it takes a little while it takes time for them to get the new job now where is anybody else have a surplus of people Port Royal does. Perfect. Let's go up to Port Royal again and grab some workers. We need two more, it looks like. We can sell some of this here. It's not the greatest price, but we're still making a profit. Let's grab... Oh, we don't want to take up too much space here. Let's grab all 15... Grab all 15 people. That might be a mistake. And we have 34. We're only half full. Let's see. Let's grab some. There we go. Let's grab. Oh, we're full. All right. Let's go back to Santa Marta. When you carry settlers to a town where workers are needed, the settlers will thank you by paying you a fare when they disembark. A small number of tools is always required to produce colonial goods like cocoa. If these tools are not available, production stops. Later, when you know a little more about prices and quantities, you can instruct the storekeeper to purchase tools regularly in the town. However, you should purchase the tools yourself for the moment to be on the safe side. This is your next task. Then there will be nothing to stop you from producing cocoa. All right, looks like we've completed another mission and we have a new scenario objective, produce cocoa and build up to a supply of 30 barrels in your warehouse. So that's what we're gonna do. And of course it says that we need to purchase tools and bring them to our warehouse, it looks like. So let's 
do that, we're going to continue. Click on the. Let's sail to Santa Marta here first. And let's finish our trade and then we'll continue on with the mission. We can sell a few things here, not the greatest price, as well as this. I won't sell here and this is too low now and let's go here and we're gonna see we're not getting paid anymore because there's no need for the settlers in the town all right so let's enter the town now and click on our cocoa plantation it's right here you can now see how much cocoa your business is producing each day and how many tools this requires now build up a supply of 10 barrels of tools in your warehouse because the warehouse supplies goods to the businesses. So it looks like we are producing two barrels per day. And the daily consumption is what, four or two? And capacity at 100%. I'm not 100% sure what this all means here. I think this is how much it produces too and this is how much it uses and we have four maybe and two in the warehouse let's check our warehouse out tools are imported goods this means that you'll find the most plentiful supply and the lowest prices in governor towns you can try to source some in cartagena to the southwest or far to the east in margarita all right so let's find our our warehouse is this blue one right here which is right here and we have two in stock here it looks like but it doesn't show what we have actually oh maybe we have stocks here i see what i see we have four in stock here as well and two so that's what that means there is two in stock and this is how much we produce and this is how much we use and i believe the first one is people and the second one is businesses so in this two businesses in town will use these we'll use two for a business in town which is probably our business all right so let's check our santa maria here we are stocked up we have 15 settlers 18 meat and 20 rope Let's go down to Cartagena here and see if we can buy tools. Tools are down here. They have nine. They are pretty expensive here. We're going to do two because then it goes in the red here. Let's sell them some rope here. And let's sell them some meat. And that's it let's take a look here they don't need any settlers so these poor settlers are going to be traveling around with us for a while let's go back up to port royal because i believe port royal is also there's a span as viceroy so i think that's the same as having the uh governor there so let's go up i could be mistaken on that they have a surplus of people here too Let's go in here and we can buy some tools for cheaper. And we're going to buy some more rope as well. And we're going to buy some more meat as well. Now, I know that there's a town over here. Let's see if we can get rid of our settlers. They need no settlers. We can sell some meat here. And we can sell some of this here. We are making money. So we got that down, Pat. Let's go back down to... Oh, let's check the... Uh, oh, they got lots of goods here. Oh, we're selling them. Let's buy them. Sorry. We need 20... 
let's go back over here. That's still in the red. I don't want to buy that. Let's drive down to, I mean, sail down to Cartagena here. We'll do three more. We can sell some of these here. And we can sell some meat here. Not much, though. Let's buy some of that and some of this. See, so you can buy it. It's pretty expensive here. Let's see, we can sell some of this. And we can sell our rum here. But we're not going to buy any of this. Let's leave the town. Let's go back to Cartagena here and see if there is any more of these. We can't really buy those. Let's go up to uh, Port Royal again. Let's go on the docks here. Ah, yes, now we can buy. Let's see if we can get up to our... I think we need 20, it said, for the mission. Let's buy a few of these. We can sell this. And let's buy a few of these as well. Do another. We're full up. All right. We still... They don't need any people here. That's okay. They don't need any people here. Let's go back to Santa Marta and drop these 20. You need tools to produce colonial goods. In the same way, you need raw materials to produce finished goods. Finished goods include rope and cloth, for example. The raw materials for these are hemp and cotton. Now that you know how to build production facilities, you should purchase a building permit in a governor town and build facilities there for producing finished goods. However, before you can purchase a building permit, you must have established a proven trading record with the town which means that you must sell goods to the town when they are in scarce supply. But be careful. If you buy up scarce goods in a town, this has a negative effect on your trading record with the town. The prices of goods that are scarce in a town are shown in red in the trade window. So, okay, we have a new scenario objective. Improve your trading record with Cartagena so that you can purchase a building permit there which we have been doing, it seems. So let's go all the way down here. And we have a new uh, instructions here. Sail with your convoy to the town of Cartagena and enter the town. A small circle symbol is displayed below the town name on the right of the screen. This shows your trading record with Cartagena up to now. Things are a little easier for you in this scenario because you have received the bonus. Now open the town information. Okay, so let's complete the mission, what they told us. We need to go from warehouse to convoy, right? And we need to move our stuff to the warehouse first. And now we'll go from town to convoy. Let's close that. And let's see, can we sell anything? We can sell some of this. And we can sell some of this. So there we go. Now let's close this. And now it says to take, go to Cartagena here. So let's sail to Cartagena. And enter the town. And here is our trading success, it says. A small circle symbol is displayed below the town name on the right of the screen. This shows your trading record in Cartagena up to now, which is this right here. We have 50%. Now, 
Now enter the town screen. Under trading record, you can now check what percentage of the required score you have already achieved. If 100% is displayed here, you can apply for a permit from the master builder. Close the town information. So again, we've seen this on the, on the screen before. We have 50%. The prices of goods that are scarce in the town are shown in red in the trade window. If you sell these goods, you will improve both your trading record in the town and your reputation with the nation to which the town belongs. Click once on the dock to display the information on the stock of goods in the town. So let's click on the docks here and these are the ones that it's scarce on. We have been trading rope and meat with them. Note which goods are lacking the town. For example, the town will always need sugar and cotton because it produces rum and garments. But there are other scarce goods in the town also. Go to other towns and buy the goods that Cartagena needs and improve your trading record. All right, so this is what they need, right? They are out of the stuff in red here. We have been trading gar uh, meat and garments and buying these two so i think i'm going to continue with that plan it seems to be making us some good money so let's sell some of these here as many as we can here with a mission of there we go now let's buy some of these but not into the red because it'll take a penalty for, from us right so let's do just a couple here for each for now can we they have 26 people in town. They don't need anybody. We can always unload those guys if we need to. Now, you can see that it went up to 63. It was 50, and then we traded a few items, and it's gone up. So let's go back up to Port Royal here. And let's keep trading what we're doing here, because we are getting reputation here as well. There we go. Let's buy some rope. Let's go down to almost 20 on this here. And the same here. They're producing a lot of this. There we go. And let's go back down to Cartagena. Let's keep doing this. Now they're in the white here. Now they're in the white as well. Let's buy some of these. Let's bring them back down to 24 or so. And we'll buy some of this. There we go. Now let's go to Santa Marta. Let's see here. We have 71%. So we've gone up a little bit more. We can sell some of this here. Let's try to make a profit as much as we can. And we're not going to do any of that. We are going to sell, oh, not many of those either. Let's keep that there. Let's go up to Port Royal again and keep doing this uh, little trade route that we've got going here. We'll sell a few of these here. There we are. Well, let's go back down to Cartagena. There we go. And they need, what here, uh, cotton and sugar, they were saying. So let's go up over here. Now, what are we at? We are at now 79. Now, do they... S let's buy a, f a little bit of cotton here. Probably not the best. Let's buy a little bit of sugar here as well. They do produce it here. 
and we'll sell some meat here we'll sell a few garments and we'll sell a few of these let's go back up to port royal Now, this might not be the greatest trading route of all time. Probably pretty terrible, but this is the one that I'm growing familiar with, and I like it so far. And it seems to be working for us, so we're going to continue on. Let's drop this down to... Oh, we're full up. Ah, oh, it's too bad we can't do that. We get rid of... Let's drop off these guys without any... With a loss, then, I guess. Let's freeze up some space here and we can buy some more. Although they don't produce it here, it's cheaper than what we purchase it at. Oh, I went into the red there a little bit. So we might take a little hit on that, but we are working on Cartagena. So let's go down to Cartagena again and see if we can make this. Uh, we are at 79%. Let's see if we have enough here. And there we are. Let's buy some of this and some rum here. And what are we at here? We're at 90%. So let's continue on. Let's go to Santa Marta. They can they uh they are producing uh sugar in that. So let's grab what we can here. Can't do much because we're full. Let's sell them a few things here. Now let's sell them some rope here. Oh, maybe a little bit too much rope. And let's buy down to 20 here and down to 20 there. We're at 60 each. Let's go back to Cartagena here. go and can we sell anything more here not really we are at 93 let's keep going here and they need rum here we have seven barrels of rum we should have bought more maybe before we left it's a mistake that i've done here let's sell these to these guys here let's buy some rope and meat and we will sell a little bit of this and we don't have any of that there they need meat over here let's go quickly over here let's sell this for some good prices here we can sell some of this as well sell a few ropes here and these guys produce this so let's grab a little bit of this there we go let's go back down to Cartagena and we're going to sell what we have here and here They have enough supplies on this. Let's buy some of this. Where are we at now? We are at 95 still. Now, let's buy... Oh, we might as well buy a few of these. A few of these sell some of these we don't have any meat really they have enough rope they want sugar let's 
take that much. Let's go back here and give them some sugar. We are fully stocked on that. Oh, they want some bricks here. 99 now. These guys want some... Let's go over here. They wanted garments as well, too, there. Yes, they want garments. Let's sell some garments here. Let's sell some rope here. And let's buy some sugar. Let's buy some cotton. And what else do we need? Let's buy a little bit more of this. Not too much. And let's buy some more of this. There we go. 55. Let's go back here. These guys need tools now. Oh, look, there's a storm there. Awesome. I didn't realize they had storms in this game, too. That's really cool. Let's go here. And let's sell them all of that. All of this. We are at 100. So now it says here, well done. You have a score of 85% in Cartagena. Keep it up. The good work. Increase your score to 100. By the way, you have just received a message about promotions and ranks. So let's enter here. Very good. As a sailor, you can be granted two building permits. Go to the master builder in Cartagena and apply for a permit. If you don't have enough gold, you must trade some more. Don't forget to trade the goods that are produced in Santa Marta. So we have 111 here. We have been trading the entire time. Let's go to the master builder here. Sailor Dormantis, you can purchase a building permit in this town. A permit costs 11,000 gold. The more building permits you have, the more expensive the next one will be. So let's buy this. You have purchased a building permit and you may now build in this town. Your first building must be a warehouse. Note, the more building permits you have, the more expensive the next one will be and the longer it will take for your trading record in the other towns to improve. You now have a building permit for Cartagena and can establish businesses there. Your next objective is to build two weaving mills in Cartagena. A weaving mill is a business that produces finished goods and requires cotton as a raw material. You must always have a supply of raw material in your warehouse or the business will be unable to produce any goods. However, the costs will still be high because you have to pay maintenance costs for each business and pay your workers. All right, and we have a new scenario objective here is build two weaving mills in the town of Cartagena and produce 10 barrels of cloth. Okay. And it says here, you must, you must first build a warehouse in Cartagena before you construct any other buildings. So let's try to get that done. We have 120,000 gold here. Let's build a warehouse. Not enough building materials. I see. There is. We need 30 wood. There's 25 in the town and we have 5 in the convoy, which makes up for it. But we need 30 um, bricks. There's only 18 available. So we cannot build this right now. We're going to have to go get some bricks first. So let's highlight the Santa Marta. Santa Maria, I mean, and let's go find some bricks. I believe Santa Marta produces bricks. So let's go there first. Yes, they do produce bricks, and they got quite a few here. Let's buy, like, 50 of these. Let's buy 30 bricks, because I think we need 30 bricks. And then let's buy some wood here as well. Let's buy... So we're stocked right up. 
And let's sell a few items here. Let's go back to Cartagena and get this um, warehouse underway here. So we have now everything we need. And now we can build it. So let's build this again close by. We're going to put it right on the beach because I want my workers to have a nice view. So let's do that. So now it's going to work, uh, produce here. And let me see. No, we have to wait for it to be done. So let's do some trading while we're waiting for this to go. Now we don't have anything else, but we do need meat again. So let's start going back and forth between our known spots here. But I'm going to do a little bit of exploring and see if we can unlock a few more towns up here. They need rum. And we produce rum down here. So let's grab a bunch of rum. Bring them down to 25 stock. There we go. And let's bring them some rum here. And they only have one rum, so let's sell them a bunch of rum here. Like that. And we will buy rope. And we will buy some meat here. Perfect. And cotton. We'll look for cotton to make sure we can find Because we need to have cotton, remember, for our um, f factories we're going to build. Weaving mills. We need to establish two weaving mills, it says there. So we can sell a little bit of this, not much. We can sell a little bit of this, and we can sell a little bit of this. Let's buy a little bit of cotton here. We'll buy 10. That's all we're going to do. Let's let's explore. I know that there's another one over here, another town. There it is. Santiago. Oh, they have nothing in here. They always seem to be hurting over here. We'll have to keep an eye on this for a good spot to uh, trade stuff. Let's do that. And they have a bunch of cotton here too. I don't want to take up too much room with cotton. 22 is a good start, though. Let's go back to uh, Port Royal here. And we'll grab some meat here. And we'll grab some more rope. And let's head back down to... Uh, let's go to Santa Marta first. Or let's go to... Uh, Maracabo first because they need meat here and we have 13 meat let's sell some meat here and we'll sell some rope here 110 that's still cheaper than our average let's buy a few more cotton here let's go to Santa Marta sell a little bit of that and look at the price of cotton on this this is cheap let's get up to 35 cotton let's see how our it's almost done not quite so let's keep trading let's do another run here let's bring these guys down to 20 here and 20 here we're going to save our cotton, although we could sell it to them. I want to put it in the warehouse to be part of the mission here. So I'll just read this real quick. Uh, now establish two weaving mills and build two residential areas. If there is not enough building materials in the town, you must buy these in another town and deliver them to your warehouse at the docks. Don't forget to negotiate a price before you part with your precious gold. We're going to go do that. So that is our mission is to build two weaving mills and two residential areas. We are first got to wait for our warehouse to be complete. 
So we have garments. They want some garments, although I think someone's just solved their problem real quick. We're going to sell them a few anyways. And we're going to sell them some of this. We are going to buy some more of these. And we're going to buy some meat. And oh, we're going to keep that the same. Let's do another little quick little trade here. Let's bring in... Oh, we can't. We are full up. Let's go back to Cartagena and hopefully we've been gone long enough for it to complete here. Yes, it has. It is now complete. So let's go to the docks here and we are going to put the cotton in it. So we want to go from warehouse to convoy transfer and we're going to transfer cotton here. And now let's go to the master builder and we can do residential warehouse businesses here. We want to make weaving mill right and we don't have enough wood or bricks in the town we only have 40 and 51 here so we're going to need to get some wood and bricks next so let's exit the town here and wait a minute here we can buy town warehouse trading let's do that we can buy because they have they produce wood here so let's let's buy wood here down to 30 and we'll go get some bricks let's go to Santa Marta I believe they produce bricks let's bring these down to 25 oh we don't want to do that too much let's do these guys as well Let's go over to Maricabo. I believe they also produce this. I'm not sure. I can also check here. Yeah, they produce bricks here. We're full up. Let's sell them some meat. And let's sell them these here. And let's sell them some rope make some money real quick here we still have quite a bit of money let's go back to Cartagena and we will go to the town warehouse convoy here let's bring this over let's bring this over there we go now let's do uh, trading between the town and the warehouse. Let's buy a few more of these. Oh, I didn't want to do that much. They got 43 here. Let's buy some of this as well. Let's go in there. Do we have enough to buy a business weaving mill? We are still short... We are almost there. We have no, we have 27 there and 27 in town. We are still short. So let's go back to Santa Marta. Let's buy into the red here. They want wood and stuff over here too. I wonder. Let's go up here and see, do, do these guys produce anything like that? I forgot to load up on the goods, but yes, they do produce wood and bricks here. So once again, our favorite trading partner is Port Royal. Let's bring these guys into the red. There we go. And let's, nope, can, we don't have anything else to trade with them, unfortunately. But we can buy some meat here. Let's continue with our regular trading and we'll buy some more rope here. We're full up. Let's go back to Cartagena. 
And we've got to remember these people too, because they need people over here and that's free money. So let's do the town to or the warehouse envoy. Let's bring these over. Let's bring these over. Let's sell some things. We can sell some rope here. And we can sell some meat here. We are got nothing. Let's enter the town and we can build a... Yes, we can. It's going to cost us 23,427 gold. Let's buy, build it right close to our warehouse right here. There is one weaving mill. Let's continue trading here. Oh, I forgot to supply up on the things that we need here, actually. So let's buy a little bit more of this. And let's go back over here and buy the rum and stuff that we like to trade. Rum. They don't have much, though. Let's go up here. They need garments, so let's sell a couple of these. They produce this. Let's go down to 20 here. Let's grab a bunch of this. There we go. They need rum. We got two barrels of rum. It's a little price. Let's do it anyways. Rum, let's sell that. They need a few of these here. Let's... That's uh, not a great price, but let's empty it. They have bricks on for cheap, looks like. Let's do that. Let's go back down to Cartagena. I don't know, we're losing a little bit of money, but that's okay because we're building stuff right now anyways. Let's enter the town. Let's trade this to the dock, to our warehouse. We'll move all of the bricks over. And we'll move all of the lumber over. Let's see if they sell stuff. They have 40, let's buy some of this. Oh. I don't want that. We went a little bit too far. Let's see. Can we build another one of these? Yes, we can. So let's build another one right beside it. Right like that. And now let's take a look at the residential. So we need more wood and bricks to build a residential housing. So we need to build two of those as well. Let's buy our popular stuff here. They're not making a whole bunch of it as before. Let's bring them down to 20. We'll keep them at 20. And let's go back up here. And sell it. They need some goods here and they need rum over here. So let's sell this. Let's sell our rum. We will pick up some of that. We'll pick up some meat here as well. And we'll pick up some wood and bricks. Let's see, we can't pick up. No, we can't do any of that. We've picked up that. Let's go back down to Cartagena here. We need wood down here. And bricks, that's okay, because we are taking up all of that. And we're going to sell some of this here. And sell some of this here. The town and warehouse do this here. We're going to get rid of that and this. And now let's make sure... 
Cartagena. Yeah. No. We don't want to do any of that. These guys got want rope. Let's buy some garments here. Oh, these guys are missing people. Let's grab some people for free. We'll grab 15 and we'll go over here. Make some quick money. And let's go here and we can get rid of all of these guys. They still need six more. We can sell them some garments here as well. We're not going to do that. We are going to pick up some bricks though. Now let's go back to Cartagena. We'll grab maybe some more settlers. I'm hoping to grab a little bit more items, some rum. It's still low on rum. We do have lots of garments though. Let's grab, bring that to 20. We'll go to the trading here. We'll dump our bricks off. Now let's go see inside here. How far are we off on a residential? Well, we need what? Less than 10. Let's go back up to Port Royal. Now we can sell them some garments. And we can take some rope here. Quite a bit of it. We've got quite a bit of rope here, quite a bit of meat. They've got some bricks and some wood here. Let's get some more bricks. We are full up. Let's go back down here. Now let's drop the stuff off here and there. Let's, oh, let's move back into the town in the convoy. Let's sell them some meat. And we're going to sell them some rope. And we're going to buy some garments. The production of, of rum seems to be really bad right now. Let's do this. We can buy a few more. There we are. Let's go back in here. Can we build a residential? Yes, we can. Residential area. Let's put that right. Let's put it right here. We've got the bricks. We still, we just need wood. Although it's in town. Yeah, we're going to need bricks and more wood here. Let's keep going. Double check. We've got all we can take. I would like to start dealing a rum again, but they're not producing very much right now. Let's go back up to Port Royal. They need some garments over here. Let's go to Port au Prince. And we'll sell them some garments here. And sell a little bit of meat sell a few of these as well we have 99 bricks let's grab a bunch of bricks here twenty eight let's go to Port Royal and we have a bunch of wood here I don't want to do too much more we can grab some meat and we can grab some of this, but we're full here. Let's go back to 
Cartagena. And now we can sell them some meat here. And let's move to the transfer here. We can transfer this into the warehouse and this into the warehouse. Let's go in here and can we build a residential house. Yes, we can build another one. Let's build another one right here. And we have a new instruction here. Oh, I think we have had the cotton already in it. That was asking us to put cotton in there, which we already had done that. Your next objective is to produce your own supply of 10 barrels of cloth for the warehouse in Cartagena and wait for your weaving mills to be constructed. For 10 barrels of cloth, you need exactly 10 barrels of cotton. And I think we have the cotton already in our, don't we? We have 35 barrels of cotton in here. So I think all we're doing is let's just make sure that we have the the amount of people we need. There's no need for workers in this town. We have 27. Let's take a look. We have almost the amount that we need. And we have people in here now. We have two and we have some renters already. That is really awesome actually. Let's continue trading. We should be able to finish this mission uh, once all that stuff kind of happens here. So let's grab a little bit of this. And we have rum here. Let's grab 10 rum. And let's head back to... Oh, we don't have our Santa Maria selected here. There we go. Let's go back up here. Oh, where did I, did I put the, I put the wrong stuff in there, I think. I put it in the wrong spot. I'm pretty sure I've made a mistake here. Let's buy a few goods here. We don't have that much money, although we have purchased all the buildings we want. Let's go down here see if I've messed up so we want to go from the trading here and I think I've put in yes I have see I've purchased I've moved them into our warehouse instead which was a mistake now let's go from the we can do some trading here this way let's give them a few pieces of meat there we go excuse me let's pick up some barrels of rum here and some of these here let's check our warehouse and cloth where is what do, what do they produce weaving they produce i see so we need a supply of 10 cloth can I? All right. I don't know if that's going to let me do that. I just dumped 10 in there, but we'll see. Now we can sell one here and we can sell some of this and we can buy a little bit more of this. Let's bring it back down to 20 stock and we'll do the same over here. And let's go, let's go to Santa Marta here. Congratulations! You can now produce cloth from cotton in Cartagena. 
As you can imagine, the costs of producing cloth depend to a large degree on the price you pay for the cotton. For this reason, you can only produce finished goods if you can be sure of being able to purchase cotton at a reasonable price. Alternatively, you can produce the cotton yourself. All right. So we have a new scenario objective. Build a cotton production facility in Santa Marta and trade to increase your cash to 70,000 gold. So Santa Marta is right here. And we need to do a cotton plantation. And we can build that right now. So let's build it on the beach here. Let's build that. Now we only have 32,000. And we have a new message here. Very good. To ensure that you always have enough raw materials for your weaving mills, you should now establish a cotton business in Santa Marta. One production facility can supply enough raw materials for two manufacturing facilities. So now we have this production facility. So we are going to take cotton from here and move it into Cartagena. And then from Cartagena, we're going to sell our stuff to Port Royal is what I'm thinking is a good idea. So let's speed the game up here and we'll move into Cartagena or Santa Maria here and we'll continue our trading. There we go. Let's get rid of some of this. And they are short people here. They don't have a supply up there. So we'll keep an eye on this. And there's a gold discovered. Oh, that's different. Very cool. So let's supply a little bit of this. Let's buy a little bit of that and we'll buy a little bit of this. And then we'll make sure we look here and we have 18. Let's take some of this. We have three bricks as well. We don't need the bricks anymore since we're not building any more buildings. And let's go up to Port Royal and see if we can sell some of this stuff. And we can sell, we can definitely sell some of this. We'll do that. We can buy some of this and some of this. There we go. And we'll sell some rum as well. Oh, and we have a surplus of people here. So let's grab... grab 16 and are they still short people no they have a surplus now ouch cargo there needs some people let's see if we can unload the people here real quick give a time for our construction to be completed in san marta let's do that let's trade these people here quick thousand one thousand fourteen or one thousand four hundred dollars a quick quick money that is let's sell this let's sell some of this oh these guys need some of that too right some All right, let's go to Santa Marta and see how our facilities are doing. They're almost done. Can we sell some stuff here? Not really. Let's go to Cartagena. Let's check. Do we have any cotton left? We have six cotton. So they are using that. We have 16 of these. Let's grab that. And can we sell some stuff here? We cannot sell that. Let's buy a little bit of rum here. A 
All right. Let's go back up to Port Royal and let's buy a little bit of cotton this time, just in case we run out. Let's sell that. We can sell some of this. We're not going to buy any more of the uh, rope. We have a lot. So we got it. We can definitely do with some meat here, though. Go there. They need rope here. Let's sell our rope up here. Oh, this is good price. They have no rope left. Let's unload a bunch of this. Let's unload some meat here. Perfect. Now, cotton. They have 45. Let's buy 15 cotton. Let's go down to Santa Marta and see if our production is done here. They have negative people. And I think it's our own business. We need 30 workers here. Let's drop this off. No, we don't want the warehouse. Uh, we want to sell stuff. Let's sell a little bit of that. Sell a little bit of this. Let's sell a little bit of this. And let's go over here and grab some workers. Let's grab all of them. As many as we can carry. And we can sell some rope here. And the warehouse, we can transfer some of... We have no cotton, so let's continue making this. And let's grab our... Garments. And they need 30 workers. We have 29. Perfect. We need one worker more. Let's go into... No, we need to go into... Yeah. Warehouse. Oh, there's 250 cocoa plants here. Let's grab this. There's so many here. Crazy. Now, what's going on here? We have 30 out of 30. Did I build the wrong thing? No. Oh, we have. Oh, I see. It's both of ours. We have. We need 30 people here. So we need more... More people. Let's go up here. Sell a few of these. It's still at a profit. Let's sell some of this. Let's grab some. And we're not going to do that here. We got four here. And there's no workers here. We have a surplus of workers up here. Let's go up here. I forgot we built the cocoa plant in the beginning. Let's sell some more here. We're still making a little bit of a profit on this. Rope. Let's grab some rope. Let's grab some meat. And we can sell some of this. And we can sell some of this. Beautiful. Let's go to Port-au-Prince and see if we can sell some of our cocoa there. Where is the cocoa again? Here it is. Oh, this is good. Let's pump this up. 
we can sell a few of these here. Sell a little bit of rope here. Let's sell this here. Sell a little bit of meat here. Perfect. Let's go back down to... Can we... Let's take a look inside here. We... We have 29, so that's still happening. Oh, we need tools. Is the problem. Okay. Congratulations. You now have some experience of producing goods. You may also have noticed that it is not always easy to sell the goods you have produced at a profit, while keeping your business afloat by trading in other goods. If you establish businesses in later scenarios or in free play mode, you must always ensure that you can sell the goods produced at a profit. Producing goods is expensive and finding the raw materials is not always easy. For this reason, you should first build up your financial reserves by trading and then very gradually begin to produce goods. Smart advice. It looks like we have now finished the scenario. We have a net worth of over 100,000, they were saying. So we are going to end this here. And we're going to call that an episode for today. We have completed construction and production, and we'll be back for sea battles next. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you soon.